Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here at the range today, doing a little bit of goofing around. And I wanted to try another try uh, at the, well, I call this the day at the range challenge, but uh, this is actually my spin on it. But uh, Eli's calling this his day at the range Captain America challenge for uh, kind of the patriotic 4th of July uh, holiday time. Um, but I wanted to throw my, my air gun spin on it. I actually did this uh, last weekend with my uh, Walther LGR here uh, shooting at 25 yards with open sights. I don't think I did bad uh, shooting with open sights with that. I got 50 out of 100. Uh, I only had one or two zeros, so <laughs> that's uh, not bad. Uh, those targets were really hard to see. So I thought I'd just throw a little bit of glass on this guy so we could uh, actually kind of make it fair. But uh, we're going to keep it at 25 yards. This gun is is not very powerful, so 25 yards is about the max this thing will do. But it, it is very accurate, so but we're going to go ahead and try it. So what we have here is my Walther LGR. Very, very cool old single-stroke pneumatic pellet gun. And uh, right now I have it topped off with uh, a very, very nice, very, very budget-friendly CV Life. 3 to 9 by 40 adjustable objective scope. Um, just, just enough magnification where I can see those dots really well. And uh, hopefully we'll get a few more, uh, a lot more fours and maybe one or two fives. Let's, uh, let's just see what we can do. Um, I actually zeroed this in my garage uh, before I came out at 7 yards. And then I set it up here in the rest and it was almost perfect uh, on site, even at 25 yards. I had to do like three clicks to the left and I was dead center in one of those one inch splatter bursts. So with four or five shots. So uh, we, should be, we should be good to go. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and uh, do our ciders. All right, that's a, a four, almost a five. I am shooting this with the 8.2 grain Meister Coogan water cu wad cutters. This gun really seems to like these wad cutters quite a bit. All right, second cider. Ooh. <laughs> so this gun is is and was designed and intended to shoot 10 meters offhand shooting. Uh, 25 yards is, is a real stretch for this guy, but it can do it. All right, let's get right into the... Uh, like a three. I was kind of hoping Eli would let this uh, have a throw an air rifle class up on his website but he hasn't included my other one yet but like a four. I'll send him a link to this one. Maybe he'll uh, warm up to it. Can't hurt to get a little more publicity. Uh, there's a lot of air rifle guys that would love to try this and participate. So close to a five. <laughs> wow. What if not? You guys can uh, still go to dayattherange.com and download this target and 
try it yourself, you air gunners or, or you 22 shooters for that matter. Uh, 22 shooters were shooting this at 50 yards. Another four. Really nice little scope, 40 bucks. <laughs> Can't go wrong. All right, second row. Another four. This thing has a magnificent trigger. This gun has like a six ounce trigger. I think it was 6.4 if I remember right, average out of three poles. The only other air gun that I had have that has a, or air rifle that has a better trigger is my Game O Match, and that was in the in the fives, five ounce, high fives, but. We do have a good bit of wind swirling around today, so that definitely has a lot more uh, impact on a little air gun like this than a, a 22 for sure. It's mostly up in the trees. The, the wind flag out at 50 though is standing straight out to the left. <laughs> That might be a two. Yikes. <laughs> this is such a cool old gun though. These were made late 70s into the early 80s. I don't know any way to date this one any closer than that. Ugh, starting to fall apart. <laughs> you do less talking and more shooting, I guess. Actually, these are not Meister Coogans. These are RWS R10 matches, which are just basically the same pellet. Back on the fours anyway. Had to go over to the church this morning and do some, do a bunch of yard work over there to get the mowing, weed whack and all that done. One of our other uh, church members, he normally does all of that, but he had some surgery, so he's kind of out of commission for, for a while now. So uh, he asked me to Handle that for him while he's uh, laid up. All right, another four. Think so I think that's out into the white a little. Darn it, that was so close. I don't have a 177 bullet to plug the hole with <laughs> like I do with the 22s to check them. Okay. 
Fourth row. There's some wind. Oof. Another four. Didn't read the wind good on that one. Another four. Not going to be a terrible score. I got a couple threes there, I think. I don't think, I think the three is the lowest I got. Get in the high 70s, that'd be cool. Ooh, that's a three. Last row, last row. Oh, that's not good. What the heck's going on with that? Oh, <laughs> the wind the wind flag's standing straight out to the left again. Come on. Perfectly calm where I'm sitting here, but looks like downrange. <clears throat> All right, let's brush that off. All right, now oh, we're back, back in good graces here again. <laughs> that one is another close one. It's, I don't believe it's a five though. Another close one, but still out in the white a little. Okay, last one. Another three. All right, let me grab that target. We'll add that up, and uh, I'll uh, see what Eli has to say about it. I think this would be a fun, uh, fun addition to his uh, his challenge. So, anyway, stand by. All righty, I am back, and uh, don't think I did too bad. Let's go ahead and add this guy up. And uh, actually, I think I did get. One five at least. Uh, now that I look at it, and it punched the paper out, but that was. But when I, I can see where the circle is on number thirteen. Uh, that is definitely a five. So number one is a is a three. Number two is a four. Number three is a four. Number four is a four. Number five is a three. Six is a four. Seven is a four. Eight is a three. Nine is a four. Ten is a, and I'll put a picture of this up here so you guys can kind of follow along with me and see what I'm seeing. 
10 is a 4. 11. I see a little bit of blue on that far edge. Man, what the heck? I'm going to call that a five. That is close enough for government work. <laughs> twelve is a uh, twelve is a two. Yikes. Uh, Thirteen is definitely a five. Fourteen is a four. Fifteen is a four. 16 is a 4, 17 is a 3, 18 is a 4, 19 is a 3, and 20 is a 3. So let's see, we've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 17, 18, 20, 22, 23, 25, 26. So that gives me a 74. 74 with two fives. Not bad. Not bad at all. The wind, the wind definitely played a factor in this one for sure. I did not read. So some of them ones that were off to the left that ended up being threes, I did not read that wind very well. <clears throat> And it really makes a big difference with these uh, with these pellet guns for sure. Um, you know, a 22 bullet traveling at uh, let's just say 1080 thousand feet per second and 40 grains is a lot less susceptible to this. This is just breezy uh, wind out here, but a 22 bullet's a lot less susceptible. It is susceptible to a little bit of shift, but an eight grain bullet going 450 feet per second is uh, <laughs> definitely uh, a lot more prone to uh, having some wind uh, variation. So a 74 is a really good showing, I think, for, for the situation here today. So anyway, uh, I will, uh, I'll post this up with uh, Eli, see what he says to say about it. But uh, if not, it's still a lot of fun. If you guys need the uh, target, you can either email me or go to dayattherange.com and get the target. But uh, either way, it's a lot of fun. Oh, train going by making a lot of noise. Hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.